Ah, ok. ¿Les tomo otro? A ver. A ver si es cierto, pues. Oiga, pero no, pero ¿para qué es la foto? No, nah, nomás ¿De es. Trata? De nada, nomás oh, ando. <laughs> it's a warm, hot summer day, and today we're shooting with the Ricoh GR3 Diary Edition, and we're running the negative film preset. Aside from some light cropping, all of the photos in today's video will not be retouched. I am pretty excited to be out at it again, doing some street photography videos with the Ricoh GR3. We're going to take a stroll around an old area of Salt Lake City. This is old Murray. This is like old State Street for Murray. And down that way is where they filmed the Sandlot movie. There's a lot of artwork, a lot of old buildings. So I'm going to go around and just kind of photograph some of the art and take you guys along with me. This will be a slightly shorter video. So come hang out. The goal of this video is to really capture the artwork and get some cool composition. So up there you have a piece of art. You got some right here. This sign's kind of in the way, but it might just help the photo. Again, I am shooting aperture priority in the negative film preset. I shot here a few months back in the winter and it was at night so we're getting a whole different perspective with the daylight. It's a really cool place. A lot of character here. A lot of artwork as you can see. And yeah, we'll photograph this side too. We've got a butterfly mural here. Just take a quick snap. And actually, I don't know if I want the entire building in this. There we go. Utah, in my opinion, is one of the most beautiful places to live just because you get all the seasons. Oh, that's pretty backlit. Could make for a cool photo though. Got some more artwork over here that looks pretty new. And again, more artwork here. Looks like a crane. A lot of this doesn't look familiar either. So it makes me wonder how often they update the murals and the artwork. I'm gonna take a step back. I feel like I'm pretty close. I wanna be able to crop this photo if I need to. And wait for the car to go by. And then also, I wanna try and get a detailed shot of this sign with the artwork in the background. Could be cool, could be lame. We're just experimenting, guys. More artwork, I'm telling you. <laughs> Every building over here is just endless artwork. Let's try to get a shot through the branches. I'm gonna set the focus to the wall back there. You guys let me know, is that a cool photo or not? 
This is pretty cool. Got the fire hydrant in the distance with the sun. Could be a little blown out, I'm not sure. We'll have to review that in post. And guys, I'm just snapping, just trying different angles. That's what photography should be about. Going out and trying new things, getting different perspectives, not afraid of being wrong or right. What's up, dude? How are you? Good. You got a death mural here, the Reaper. It's kind of cool, but I don't know if I want to photograph it. That's pretty cool artwork very dark let's come back here and see what we got ooh I like this window yeah let's photograph it go long for this one excuse me vertical yep nothing back here the back entrance. Let's keep it moving. Oh, this is sweet. Gonna raise the ISO just a tad bit. Looks pretty dark on my LCD. You guys will have to let me know how that comes out. I like this mailbox a lot too. You don't want to make it perfect, right? You don't want it to look perfect. We'll take a photo there, and then we'll get even closer. Kind of want to photograph it at an angle. Yeah, just a lot of cool material. This would be a great place to come and do, <clears throat> excuse me, some photos with models or friends, some lifestyle photos. A lot of barber shops out in this area. Like I said, a lot of old buildings. So this building's got to be abandoned. Just look at the window and look at the bird in the window. Doubt you can see it from where you guys are. <laughs> That's really cool. He's just sitting up there. He's gone now. Try to move this banner. I like photographing old buildings with plywood over the windows. It's just a cool look. It's like a photography fetish of mine. <laughs> Again, an area that's waiting to be cleaned up the sense of like new businesses, new buildings. It's just been this way for a long time, just a lot of random shops. It's a pretty quiet area. I don't think there's a lot of crime that happens here, but you never know. I do see security guards walking around everywhere. Check this out though. These cool murals, man. Rather than try to get the entire mural in one photo, I'm gonna just take two photos and get what I think is most interesting. 
So of course we get the sugar skull up top. It's one photo. And then I'm gonna come get this artwork right here. Oh, that looks awesome in my LCD. Check that out, I love that. Colors popping. One day I'm gonna climb this ladder, I promise. One day, I don't know when, but one day. Let's photograph it. I'm gonna try to make this building look separate from the mural over there. So I'm gonna take a step to my right. I'm just gonna take a long photo as well. So yeah, we got several different options. It's really the name of the game with a lot of these street photography ventures is you just take a couple photos and hope that a few of them turn out awesome. This is a predominantly Hispanic Latino area. I'm sure it wasn't always this way. Oh, but check that out though. I bet the smoothies, man, I bet you all that food slaps. Let's take a picture of the trash here. We're just photographing details. Hola, buenas tardes. ¿Cómo están? Hola, hola, hola. hola. Ooh, we got some shoes on the cables up here. That's always a cool photo. I don't care how many times you take a photo like this. It just never gets old. So the turtle's the same. That mural's been here. It's the same mural that was here last time. This is also the same focus on the good. There was a car here in the last video as well too. Love that mural, it's really cool. Just photograph the turtle though. And I kinda wanna get a close up with the branches. Again, remember, you don't have to get every inch of the photo. This is where most of the cool artwork surfaces up. I have a photo, which I'll put on the screen right now, of the night scene, which is just incredible. It's one of my favorite photos that I've taken. And so let's get some detail shots. Not really gonna talk much of the thought process behind these photos. Let me know in the comments which photos are your favorite. Drop a timestamp. And maybe you see something here that I don't. On this wall here too, there was a guy walking across at the perfect moment and I captured him walking by and took a photo. That's also one of my favorite photos.
one of my favorite movies growing up was The Sandlot, and I had no idea that it was filmed so close to my house and in the areas around Salt Lake City. Had zero, zero clue. So this is Vincent Drug. This is the store in the Sandlot. This is where Smalls is standing and he sees Wendy Peppercorn, I think that's her name, for the first time. And if you look up, the original Vincent Drugstore sign is here. I've also got a photo from a while ago. It looks like it's faded now, but we'll throw the negative film on it. And let's see if the other side is in any better condition. It actually is. I'm gonna go vertical. Set the focus on the sign. Snap away. They're definitely remodeling the inside. I'm not sure what it's gonna be, but they've in some way preserved the actual glass from the movie. Here it is, the old convenience store where they're having an argument over Babe Ruth, the great Bambino. Smalls doesn't know who Babe Ruth is. And they immortalized squints on the wall here. There's always cars here, so I've never been able to get a clean photo of it. Someone's, someone's dusty car is always in the shot. We'll take a photo anyway. Yeah, they're definitely building onto it. Yeah, they're remodeling the inside. Yeah, I had no clue that they literally filmed this movie 10 to 15 minutes from where I grew up. Si, ya tomé la foto. Ah, ok. ¿Les tomo otro? A ver. A ver si es cierto, pues. Oiga, pero no, pero ¿para qué es la foto? No, nah, nomás ¿De es... ¿De qué trata? De nada, nomás oh, ando... Yo pensé que para pa este, pa la policía, para que no andaban los robando. <risa> <risa> no, pa, no, no, para eso no. Ya no sale aquí de lo que vamos a hacer. No, está bien. Nomás es para... No, nomás, nomás para mí. Dale. Tienen el contrato, póngale ahí. No se vaya a masturbar con ah. las fotos, eh. <risa> no, nah, hombre. Nos va a tomar otra foto. Ahí va. Gracias, eh. Funny dudes just working on the remodel. Wonder what they'll turn it into. Yeah, this can make for some cool photos. Just make sure you don't run into anyone or step on anything sketchy. What is this? Is this a pelican, a stork? Let's go see how far we can get in. My buddies are over there still. No trespassing. Yeah. So clearly they're remodeling it, but these buildings have been like this for years. Some scaffolding over here. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna take a look. Let's hope none of this stuff falls on my head. So yeah, they're just kind of completely tearing down the building or gutting it. Excuse me. They're gutting the building. Definitely an old building. You can go all the way through.
But yeah, I don't know if you guys can see inside. I don't know what this building was in the past. Sorry if you guys can't see, but this building is pretty ancient. If you'd like to see more videos with the Ricoh GR3 and negative film action, click here or click right here. And remember to subscribe, I'll see you on the next video.